this is the uh, this is the Computar six millimeter. Computar six millimeter f 1.2. See how close we can get. Same lens. This is uh, about five centimeters away. That's pretty good. I am three centimeters away. Three centimeters away, and I'm still kind of getting it. Okay, that's pretty good. So that's a block away from California. That's a fountain. It's a block away across the street over there. Car. It's about 40 meters away. Go back to the. It's not, sun's not even. Well, this is about eight centimeters. This main flower over here. See? Unless my hand is on the camera, but touching it. So, it's going in and out of focus to show. It's not, the bokeh is not nearly as good as the Fujian 35mm f1.7, but it's still. Let's go down and see, see what we can see in the dirt. Playing the aperture here. So I'm touching the camera and then touching the ground. So that's actually, you know, I'm almost touching. I'm almost touching the ground. Let's see? That's, I'm probably one centimeter away. Sorry for all these traffic shots, but I just want to show. This is max aperture now, so I can, this is f1.2 right here, so it's over, it's actually overexposed. Now the sun is going down, okay, the sun is going down, so, but it's, oh, it's overexposed, so I'll, in the next segment I'll, I'll wait until it gets real. It's, uh, since we're waiting for the sun to go down, let's talk about this one. Here's a 25 millimeter CCTV lens, 25 mil, CME, I don't know anything about that company, CME. And it's a 1.4, f1.4. So let's just pop that on there and see. If Missed that. Um, let's take a look at the, uh, the aperture there, aperture blades. Okay, so you got a, it's got a real long throw. Look at this. Long throw. Long throw. But, you know, it's interesting. Okay, probably. I don't know. And uh, so that's. Oh. Seems to be going more quickly now. That's, that's funny. Okay, but anyway, this is CME. Let's start. Okay, let's play around with the aperture here. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so here's the particularity: is that the focus is actually close to the frame, is the, while the uh, while the aperture is the on the front. So. To, to focus, that's the thing that has the very long throw, that's because of my confusion in the morning. And, um, it's a very long throw, I'm trying to focus on this other lens that I have here. Okay. That's about 12 centimeters. Right now, that's about, looks like about 20, 20 centimeters. When I'm finally getting in, I focus on it for 20 centimeters. So you're not going to be able to get up really, really close with the CME 25mm f1.4. Now it's overexposed. Sun's still going down, you know. Traffic lights over there. So, so you're not going to be able to do, you know, get up and show little grains of sand with hands and stuff like that. But, uh, but, oops, that's my hat, turned off. But, um, as long as we're used to a long focus throw, long focus throw, it's actually pretty good. And you know, this was, um, 20 bucks. I didn't know anything about something at all. I don't think it performs the level of the Fujian 35mm, uh, yeah, 35mm f1.7, 
o'clock and then with my mitzvah. That is truly a dream. But this is not bad. I mean, 20 bucks, come on. And it's 25 mil. This is no ETC, by the way. Okay. So it's still overexposed. Okay, so that's the CME TV lens, 25 mil. Okay, this is a 7. No, 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 wait. It's 8 p.m. California. And um, we're still on the CME 25 millimeter f1.4 um, and you see that uh, so it's got this long focus throw it's got a long focus throw but um, but it's a pretty it's a pretty good performer I am about 25 see the aperture goes right away but, um, so you have to fiddle with it to get the, to, the focus through is very long. But the quality of the image is actually pretty good. Let's take a look at that building over there. Traffic. See, I'm, I don't have a, a follow focus, so I'm having to film and, and throw the focus myself. It's a little bit stiff, you know, because it's for a security camera. The, the sense is that, that the shopkeeper is going to... Still on the CME, so it's playing with the aperture there. Some poor guy. Here's him at Starbucks. Okay, that's... Computar 6mm f1.2. So let's, uh, this is out of ETC mode. Okay, this is, you just screwed on, start filming, that's what you got. Play around with the aperture. Okay, it's all the way off, and all the way open there. Let's go. So, this one has a short focus throw, which is nice. We're, uh, it's 8 p.m. here in spring. Early spring, it's windy, it's not usually windy. And uh, see, it's still all, it's not overexposed, but it almost is. I'm on rollerblades, so let's lay it around just a little bit. So, um, kind of want the sun to go down. And, um, there's a cute shit back there, but I don't want to be filmed. Computar 3.5. Let me look. Sorry, Computar 6 millimeter, 6 millimeter f1.2. So this is going to be really good when the sun's totally down. Still, it's, it's not as dark as I'd like it to be, but that's what we got so far. Maybe I'll do one last bit. Okay, so the sun went down. Probably 8:30 p.m. So I'm testing this lens. F1.2, 6 millimeter. Computar. So let's take some more dark lenses. I want to show you. So that's 
Now it's open, totally, and I'm at ASA 160. ISO, whatever. <laughs> so let's see here. Ooh. Ooh. See my hand. So I don't have a hall of focus. It would be kind of hard to. You know, there's a serrated edge at the very front. But there. Wow, it's weird. I could even. So that's all the way shut off. And it's wide open. That's looking into a museum. Museum of Monterey. Mom. Chase this bike guy a little. Still at 160. Wide open. I'll prove it. See? Very So the sun is down. I'm at a war. Sun's down, this is wide open, and I'm at ISO 160. So, so I can still see that my bars indicate it's overexposed. So I can get a proper exposure if I go down. So let me look at my watch. Yeah, it's 8, 10 p.m. springtime, and that's, that's a little overexposure. Now, my camera tells me this is right, which it does look right. There's my hand. So. So I'm just inducing out of focus. Lots of sirens today. Yeah, I can see. See, I have an F1.0 computer. F1.0. And I can see that, yeah, it got. It was able to better handle. But this is the, this is the marina area. This is happening right after the Boston Marathon bombing. So I think the authorities are on edge or something. I don't get it. I've been hearing sirens all day. Okay, so this F1.2 F1 Computer 6mm on ETC mode in a GH2. That's, I'm in a wharf. That's why I hear those. Those are sea lions. Those are okay, here. We're close to the restaurant. F1.2 Computer 6mm ETC mode. You do have to use ETC mode. But they have a 12mm 12.5mm Computer that you barely have to use it on. I'm rollerbla rollerblading along, so it's kind of hard. Sorry, I don't have an external recorder with me because I didn't. This is wide open, wide open here. This is taking it down. Computer F1.2, 3.5 mil, I think. So Computar 6mm f1.2, half, half inch image format, C-mount, Computar 6mm f1.2. So you, you can see here that we need to go into ETC mode, let's do that. So this is Computar 6mm f1.2 in ETC mode. Um, this is, so I'm really close to this pole here, I'm at the edge of a California baseball field. So I'm... I'm touching the my camera to this pole and I'm able to I'm mostly able to 
focus on that guy. You know, I need to want my full hand here to change the focus. So let's look at it. So there's a baseball field, here's a pole, here's a baseball field, here's a pole. So you can really, you know, you can get pretty close here. Yeah. So the ETC mode, 6 mil computer F1.2. So that's it. Go to the next one. Okay, so something I just got, I'll just tack it on here, is um, the computer 8.5 millimeter f1.3 and it's um, two-thirds image format not um, CS mount it's a C mount proper C mount so I don't have my loop on here so I'm um, shooting this through my viewfinder my car like Scott <laughs> so um, you know you you might not have to run this in ETC mode so, um, so that would be good for everybody, GH2 people, and also uh, Sony Nex people, uh, if you don't have ETC mode, I think this would mostly cover your sensor. So, um, let's go ahead and, uh, shoot just a little bit with this, see kind of what kind of results you get. Ooh, see, nice big bottom. And then, um... Here's another, too. This is it's a little bit unusual one. It's the Navitar F1.3 8mm. And it, too, is this biggish two-thirds format. It's two-thirds format, two-thirds image format, not one-half inch. Or a third, as is common with the CS lenses. So um, I've just gotten this. And, uh, you know, sometimes it works out super well, others, other times not at all. So this is the Navitar 8mm f1.3. So we're going to shoot just a little bit with these uh, two lenses um, informally here. I am not a lens review pro. Uh, yeah, the next lens we're going to is this 8.5mm f1.3, two-thirds image format. Computar. We're going to put this lens on. So, Computar 8.5 millimeter f. Hang on. F 1.3 in the two thirds, two thirds image format, not half, not a third, two thirds. And you can see that unfortunately I need to use um, the ETC mode in my GH2, so I'm going to do that. So we're going to 8.5 millimeter f 1.3 into ETC mode. Okay. Yeah, so now we have in ETC mode. Sorry about the noise. And um, so we're gonna go. Pull. This is a this is a flagpole. See, flagpole that in the foreground here on my right. It's not not. It's in the shadow, so it's a little bit tough. Sorry. So that's focus, and then baseball field, pole, and again, I'm I'm gonna touch the camera to the. Dong dong dong. See so. You can see that I can focus almost. Ah, crap. So you can see I'm touching the camera lens to the pole right now. And I'm backing off a little bit. I, let me look how far that's about. It's about four centimeters. So I can get within about four centimeters of this pole before I need to, before I can't focus. And so now we're going to the baseball field. The lens throw is, the focus throw is pretty good so you know if you had fast action you could maybe make it work it is a little bit tough to when you focus you have to apply you can't just use the tip of one finger okay it's not you don't have to be a gorilla but but you would have to use you know two fingers so again that's computer 8.5 millimeter f1.5 three in the two-thirds image format. Okay, um, so we're going to the next lens, which is Navitar 8mm f1.3 in the two-thirds image format. That's not, it's not a half inch there. Let me give a nicer background. Okay, we're going to this lens. But yeah, so this is Navitar 8mm f1.3. 
and we're not in um, ETC right now. We're not in ETC, so so it, you you do need it. You do need you'd, in post. You'd have to come in tighter, or or uh, for GH2 people, you'd have to put it into ETC mode. Sorry about the wind. Um, Baseball field. Okay. okay, it's an avatar. So, um, baseball field in focus, and now the light pole. Baseball field in focus. Now the light pole. Baseball field in focus. Flag pole. Baseball field in focus. Flag pole with the mold. Okay, now here's one part. Before I could get within like four centimeters, so I'm as close as I can be already, and I'm with my hand. I'm I'm making a Hawaiian shaka, right? So that's probably 15, yeah, maybe 15 centimeters. This is as close as I can get. Ten centimeters. Looks like about, I can get within about 10 centimeters. Of, oh, the sun's coming out. Good. I'm keeping it wide open, even though it's over, a little bit overexposed. Just to show the bokeh. So, nice motion. I don't know what the low light performance is. Maybe I'll do a separate one tonight. And when the sun goes down.